cut that up. So I start to cut it up. Still have some ring in. Starts to come out a little more. So let me put it at like 40. So it's at like 39 volts now, right? About 140 watts. And that's 4.3 megahertz or so. All right? Start to hear sort of a hum in it. It's kind of hard to see the uh, flame. But, you know, about 150 watts or so, and that's about 200 volts or so on the drain there. Um, but apparently, you know, with that switching, you know, it'll run that. That's not a bad little over 4 megahertz flame there. And uh, technically, I could bring it higher, right? I'm not sure at what point it'll uh, fail. But the higher I bring it, the uh, basically the shorter that pulse is going to get. You know, it's going to rise higher in amplitude, and um, eventually, I think it's going to start working that MOSFET a little bit too hard. It's going to start heating up. So I think basically what I need to do is actually tweak the primary LC a little bit more to be able to safely crank this up, right? But so basically the way I set this up, the way that that's tuned, the way that was switching, I'm not going to feel heat in this guy, right? Only going to get slightly warm after a really long time of running it. I've also got this little fan blowing on the driver, which is probably throwing a little bit of air this way also. I mean, I can feel like the slightest bit, I don't know, it might be helping it. It's tuned close enough to where I can run that power no problem, right? If I want to push higher than that, then it's going to get even more out of tune. Then it's going to start heating up, I would imagine. At some point, the ringing might get a lot worse. I don't know. Basically, what happens is the ringing is fairly bad all the way up until the point I get to where, you know, it's like, like I say, 40 volts or so. 37, 38, still bad ringing. So just this, you know, slightest little bit of tuning there kind of makes the difference. See, I've got quite a bit of length of wire here. So I started out running much shorter wire like one turn real thick wire made it real short and then i kept backing the cap size down on the shunt to see how high of a frequency i could get the um, lc running at and it seemed like the shorter i made the wire the higher i tried to bring that frequency the uh more ringing i would see in the switching i probably have sort of a max on this fet that i'm going to be able to run um and still manage the switching without it being too bad because i can't make it like super super duper short just wasn't working out something about this length that actually liked a little bit more so you know maybe chop a good length off of it you know maybe something like chop it like that bring the frequency a little bit higher but i don't think i'm going to be able to bring it to like uh six megahertz or more i feel like i need to add maybe another 150 picofarad or something like that which i just don't have any more caps right now i'm waiting on them probably push this coil higher power no problem right i really kind of wanted to run something like that though so still have to uh work on that you know, coming out of a screw and it just washes out this camera i don't know if i can drop the brightness i don't know Anyway, yeah, I can push about maybe like 160 watts without getting too scared, I guess. It's not bad for a little coil, though. But, uh, I think music would sound pretty good from something like that. I don't know. I don't think there's a point of uh, interrupting it, right? Because that's just probably how I would run it. Just uh, continuous, and uh, you know, that's not bad. It's about kind of what I'm looking for, about 4 amps, close to 40 volts. And I've still got quite a bit more ceiling on that MOSFET. So, uh, you know, so long as I tweak that shunt cap a little bit more, again, I feel like I'd be able to crank it up and be all right. Again, don't feel any warmth yet. I bet that thing's hot, but uh, yeah, pretty cool.